Sorry about that. I was just rudely interrupted by student Dr. Shea Pradden. Uh, but the show must go on. So, here we are. Let's really quickly recap the VOR. Um, please note I did start drawing the psychotic pathway. Ignore it for now. We'll talk about it in a second. So the VOR, again, if we get a, let's say our head moves left, our left semicircular canals will pick that up. That with our cerebellum will send an impulse through our scarpus ganglion to our left medial vestibular nucleus. That will then decussate and ascend through the MLF to synapse on the sixth nerve, um, or abducens, and then abducens from that point will innervate lateral rectus to move the eye out, which will be right in this case, away from our left impulse. Sixth nerve will also, sixth nucleus will also send an impulse decussating again and then ascending through our MLF to reach this structure, which is the third nerve or the oculomotor nucleus. Oculomotor nucleus will then send a nerve to innervate medial rectus, again moving the eyes right, which again is opposite of this original sensation. Okay, so the next things we're gonna focus on is our psychotic and our cortically controlled saccad pathways. Um, again, as I said, I drew the psychotic pathway in, but we can still talk through it. So remember, this has to do with reflexive eye movement. So what's gonna happen is, depending on which way your eyes wanna move, it will be, if your eyes are gonna move to the right, then we are going to have a ipsilateral superior colliculus will activate. That will synapse on this structure here, with, which is our mesencephalic reticular formation. When you turn on the mesencephalic reticular formation, it's going to release GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, on our rip open cells. Remember, these have been tonically inhibiting PPRF with glycine. So by turning off the rip open, you turn on the PPRF. So the PPRF then is able to activate your abducens nucleus and then follow the rest of the pathway. So again, turning the eye right. If we add to that then, for cortically controlled saccades, this is gonna be on a contralateral side to your eye movement. So say that this is your, you're gonna move your eyes right again, your left frontal eye field is gonna be activated. It's gonna send descending fibers, which are going to decussate, you don't need to know where, and then synapse on the contralateral superior colliculus. From this way, then, it will completely follow the same psychotic pathway through our mesencephalic reticular formation, turning off our rip open, thus turning on our PPRF, and then activating abducens in the rest of the pathway. Last thing that I want to touch on is the medial vestibular spinal tract. So remember, we learned about this previously. This has to do with moving your neck in relationship to your head position. So this actually makes a lot of sense here, is if we're doing the VOR and we're moving our head, we want to not only adjust our eyes, but also our neck at the same time. So remember, this sends also structures through, this are from, sorry, this sends fibers from the cerebellum and the semicircular canal, which will go through scarpus ganglion. I don't think I touched on that in the last one, but scarpus ganglion is the um, pseudo-unipolar where all vestibular input comes from. This will also, like the VOR, go to our medial vestibular nucleus. And then remember this one bifurcates, goes to bilateral MLFs, which then goes to my MLF or medial vestibular spinal tract in the cervical spine. We'll synapse here on our motor horns and then control neck muscles. So the whole system is working together, which is pretty awesome. So again, just to quickly recap, the VOR, probably the most important one here, is gonna send your eyes contralaterally to the original input by going through our MLF, initially to a contralateral abducens and then an ipsilateral oculomotor. Uh, if you want psychotic control of that that's coming from your superior colliculus, turning off your, or turning on your mesencephalic reticular formation, turning off your rip opens and turning on your PPRF. If you want to cortically control that, that comes from the contralateral frontal eye fields. And if you want to coordinate your neck with all of this, you use the medial vestibular spinal tract, which is moving bilaterally to the cervical spine. That's the VOR.